What's up, YouTube? Miles is back with another video, man. So I'm sitting up here at the dealership and I see this. Okay, it's dirty. I guess they've been cutting the grass, so this thing is dirty. Which is I, why did they do that, bro? Why did they just cover the car up or move it or something? I don't know, man. But I really like them. I've been liking those rims since they put them on the 17, um, the 17 Hellcats. Or really, any Hellcat from that they've made from now on, they have those. I I really love those. But this is a 2019 Hellcat. How much is going for? 71,000. I guarantee this price finna drop. And it's probably about uh about five more months. Really about four more months. This price is gonna drop on this. I guarantee you, bro. I guarantee you. So this probably gonna drop to probably about close to like 65-ish. It's 71 right now. I guarantee it's gonna drop to about 65 ish. I'm gonna tell you why. Let me explain why. That happens all the time. So for those that's that's been asking about, you know, buying Hellcats and things of that nature and uh, I mean, I made a video on it a long time ago talking about, you know, how to buy one because a lot of people ask me how to buy one, which there really is no big option on how to buy one. It's, I mean, it's no like step by step manual on how to buy a Hellcat or buy any car for that matter. Uh, what's going on? What's going on? I mean, you really just have to know what you're doing know where you're going and know how to handle it because there's always going to be some way around it you know some way around whatever they're trying to sell you the price set you know like i explained in the last video the prices that's on the sticker more than likely you can get it <laughs> you know way under that price that's on the sticker especially if you're coming with money now if you're not coming with any kind of money you better have some good credit to back up all that talk you're gonna be talking <laughs> so uh oh my god well somebody be getting lit right here and they put all the brick cans right there this must be the spot but the best time to buy a Hellcat without just worrying about any kind of money down and credit the best time just to come up to the dealership period and try to attempt to buy a Hellcat it's right around October -ish. because usually that's when they start to bring in you know the cars that start for the next year and things of that nature like okay so prime example that's a 19 so after October that's when they're going to start trying to get ready to ship in all the things from 2020 and things of that nature. So that's what's going to be on the lot. So that means they're going to be trying to get rid of those, get those out the way so they can get the new ones in on the lot. So, of course, that means they're not going to be dirt cheap. Did I say it right? Dirt. <laughs> they're not going to be dirt cheap. But uh, I didn't say it right. I said it right the first time. But they're not going to be dirt cheap, bro. But we'll be able to get it at a lot cheaper price than what it is on that sticker. Probably close to $5,000 cheaper. Maybe a little over that, depending on what kind of car it is and depending on how long it's been actually sitting on that lot. Now that one, that one just got there, I'm going to say it's probably been there for like all of a month. Let's just say just for the kick. Let's just say it's been there for a month. So it hasn't been there that long. So it'll drop, but it probably won't drop tremendously. I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to give it to about, I'm still going to say 65 because if it's there around October time, Anything after October, I mean, it's been there for a minute. That means more than likely nobody's really buying it because of whatever the case may be, because they're waiting on a new one to come in. So, that means they're going to try to get that out the way, off the lot. So, they're going to drop their price. Then, of course, you come in with some money down or good credit, and then you talk them down even a little bit more. Then, I mean, they're going to drop their price some more for you. So, you probably can get that car. If you do, you, if you do the right thing, talk the right numbers, have good credit, Come with a little money in your pocket, you can probably get that Hellcat for all of under ten thousand dollars under what their price is, is already is set at. So it can be done. It's like a little F one fifty, but I got to get the two fifty. Y'all already know, man. That's my type of time right there, bro. I got to get in these two fifties, man. I have to, and I promise it is coming. It is a must. Which, like I just said, October is the best time to wait to buy a car. October, because that's when they start to try to get ready to move all, all the new cars in. That's a nice looking one, F-450. I ain't going to lie to me, F-450 do look good, bro. I just got to, man. Look at this. Look at this. It is a mud. I like the lights on there, too. I don't think this one got the sunroof, though. 70? That's crazy. I mean, I, I know I can get that for low. 
That's crazy. I like those too. Oh, this is nice. I might have to put that on the list. I say F two fifty. I don't like how low it is. I definitely don't like this. I do not like that. And they definitely should have lifted this up. It's like an F one fifty, bro. That's kind of little. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know, it's F-150, it look like F-150, this is, yeah, it could be F-2, that is F-2. I'm not a huge fan of that, that like, the, I'm not a huge fan of bed covers, bro. I feel like the whole point of having a truck, to have that open so you can put what you need to put in the back. But, um, yeah, the best time is October. You want to buy, like, any kind of Hellcat or thing, like, I feel like any car, really, that's just my opinion, but the best time to come out there and do that, go to the dealership, October, bro. That's when everything is starting to roll in. That's when they're getting everything ready for, you know, the new line of shipment that they're getting ready to, you know, pull in. So, it's, it's, bro, you just have to look and be aware of what you're doing and what you're looking for. Be patient. Patience is the absolute strongest key, man. Be patient. Be patient, be patient, be patient. Because I know the way I was at first, I was very impatient. You know, I was very impatient. I didn't wait like I should have. I just wanted to, you know, when I was trying to buy cars at first, I was just, I just wanted the car, man, because I, I felt like I was, you know, you get in your mindset like, oh, I'm getting a new car. So you like, like, you just super, super impatient about it. You don't want to wait. You're like, I know I got the money. I need to get it now. And I didn't wait like I should have. And I probably could have got a whole lot. I could have got, like I said, I could have got the Hellcat a long time ago if I would have waited and been patient, but I wasn't. So that is the main thing first, bro. Just be patient, man. Be patient, just make sure that you're looking out for what you're doing. You know, look out for the best prices, look out for the best deals. But, like I said, I cannot stress it enough, man. October is the best time to look for any kind of car. It's the best time to go out there and try to talk and work your mojo because that's when they're gonna be trying to get in the new ship. So, I mean, you can't beat no better than, the, you know, you can't beat a better deal than that because, like I said, more than likely, you could probably get that car for $10,000 less than what it's listed at. So, just be patient. Wait for October. If you think about getting a car, wait for them to get the new line of shipment in for the cars they're trying to get. And then get you one. They pick you one up, man. And then you'd be riding, you know, in a car that you want instead of having to buy something that you really didn't want. You just got it anyway because you let the, the dealership man talk you into getting or you just... You know, was impatient about trying to just get a car, period. So you just went and jumped in something that didn't look nice, but it really wasn't what you really wanted. So just take your time, be patient, man. Get the thing, get what you really want. It's coming, trust me, it's coming. So you ain't gotta jump in nothing like that. I got dang, I got dang Kia. First of all, he's absolutely too big to be getting that Kia. I don't care what he getting that car for. <laughs> He is too big to get in that Kia. So, <laughs> make sure you be patient wait till October so you ain't gotta get nothing like that. You know, grown man driving a Kia. He just too big for that Kia. It, it not, <laughs> it's no this is anybody that actually drives a Kia. He just too big for that Kia. So, but man, oh, they sold that truck, bro. This mug was for sale and they sold that thing. That's crazy. Ooh, I promise, bro. Mines has come in. I am so serious. But y'all just stay, just stay on the lookout, man, for for the deals. You know, everybody wants a nice car. Everybody wants to get one. Just be patient and wait. That thing is hard. That is hard. But uh, there's a wrap for the video, man. So. If this video was helpful, you know, good information for you, make sure you smash that like button, man, so we can get this thing rolling up to the top. Make sure you comment down below. Let me know what you think. Um, let me know if you did buy a car in October or after October when they're getting ready to, you know, start rolling in the new cars. Let me know if you actually saw any price difference, you know, from when they was first trying to sell it to you to after October or when you first saw it listed, you know. So let me know if you saw any difference. But that is a wrap for the video man that is a wrap that's a wrap that's a wrap until the next video y'all already know i end every last one of my videos whoever told you the sky's the limit lied to you because we know absolutely no limit whatsoever man so let's get this money